All right, Gold Belly Gluttony and Eats Pizza Passion. Today on Coolest, I have one of the best pizzas on the planet and what many people consider to be the best Chicago deep dish pizza, Lou Malnati's. The cool thing about this is that this can be shipped directly to your house via Gold Belly. So if you can't make the patronage or the pilgrimage to Chicago, a taste of Chicago can come to you. So I have sausage today and my first one was cheese. Uh, this will be the third Lou Malnati's pizza I've had this week. First one was cheese, second one was pepperoni, and now I'm completing the hat trick you know the really the holy trinity of pizza i have number three which is sausage so sausage has an interesting and oscillating history with me it started out as my favorite pizza when i was younger then as i got older it moved into the number two slot behind pepperoni and right now as an adult it's number three behind pepperoni and cheese now the interesting thing about sausage is that when done perfectly when done phenomenally when done extremely well it can be my number one pizza does that happen to anyone where, you know, whether it's sausage, cheese, or pepperoni, where it's, it's, it's your third favorite of the three, but when done extraordinarily, it turns into your number one. That's what sausage is with me. And for me, what, what, what it takes to be catapulted back into number one is when I get that awesome sausage pizza that has the perfect cure, the perfect cut of sausage, and the perfect placement. So I'm hoping that I'm going to have one of those moments today. I've never had a Lou Malnati sausage pizza before. This one's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna get right into it. Let, let's open this thing up. Uh, what you're supposed to do is cut this open, all right? And then you're supposed to remove the pizza. Let's see what this thing looks like. Uh -huh. So this one's fully intact. The pepperoni from the other day had a little bit of breakage to it. This one is not broken at all. So you're supposed to take it out, take a look at that. This thing is a beautiful, beautiful piece of pizza. So the Luminati's crust are a little thin from a Chicago perspective, at least from my paradigm, they're just a little thin. They don't quite have the huge wall that a Giordano's might have, but still it makes it more palatable and more edible because the wall isn't so cumbersome. You can have more of the pizza because you're not filled up by a bread or crust intensive pizza. But take a look at this thing. Pizza removed and then what you're supposed to do is Wipe out this tray for any condensation. I'm gonna do that. There's not much in here, maybe just a little bit. Okay, now that the pizza is removed, you are supposed to spray this down with a little bit of cooking oil. But I was thinking last night, before I fell asleep, of course I was thinking about pizza. Some people think about, you know, work projects, or maybe something they really like. For me, of course, I was thinking about pizza. I think that this could be improved. This amazing crust could be improved by perhaps just lining this with butter. Okay, so I got some European style butter here. And what I'm going to do is just, coat it like this. So what I'm doing is just using the butter as a nonstick instead of cooking oil. And I think this could even add more flavor and more awesomeness to an already awesome crust. Okay, so here's what that looks like when it's done. Just a nice little film of butter on there. And this is gonna turn out either really awesome or really bad. I don't think there's gonna be room for any air. I'm hoping it's gonna be really great. So then you put the pizza back in. And then that is it, 425 for about 40 or 45 minutes. On the last pizza, I cooked it for 45 minutes and it was perfectly done. I'm not gonna change it at all. 45 minutes in the oven, sausage, Lumo Nottis. I'll see you when I get back. Back up in the lab after about 45 minutes, a little bit more. If you take a look at this pizza, what I looked for is I just looked for the edge of the sausage just to get a little crisp, just to get a little singe. And once that started to peel up a little bit, then I took it out. So about 47, 48 minutes in the oven. Um, look at this uh, pizza. I didn't notice it when I unboxed it because it was frozen. I think we have one entire flattened circular layer of sausage. I'm pretty sure this entire sausage layer goes across the entire pizza. If so, that's gonna be really cool. Look at that. I think it does. Um, Parmesan and some herbs and spices on top. I think that's great. This is the best smelling Luminati's pizza I've had thus far. The cheese was okay. The pepperoni was exceptional, and this one is extraordinary. If smell is any inkling towards taste, we're gonna have a good time here. Um, let me uh, let me cut this open. You know, this this thing, uh, it's, it's hot, it's tough to get your hands in there. It's easier just to cut it and then peel it away, like so. And then we can just kind of slide the pizza out here. It feels nice and rigid right away, but still has some flexibility. You can see just a, just a little bit of bend, but still has enough rigidity to support the pizza. This thing is really, really hot. This is gonna burn. Let's cut this thing. Mm. 
butter crust. Let's see how we did. Hmm. All right, there we go. Uh, four quadrants of sausage pizza. I'm gonna pick this one first. And yes, as you can see, take a look at this. Uh, look at the perfect layering on this. This looks to have more sauce than the previous one. That was my knock on the last pepperoni pizza is that the sauce was a little sparse. It was a little light. This one looks to have more sauce. Look at the perfect layering on this. Crust, cheese, sausage, and tomato sauce. Just a perfect, perfect layer. Very well balanced and great proportionality. They all look to have even layering. This is gonna be so good. Hmm. So if you take a look at the cross section of this, indeed there is one entire layer of sausage, almost like a sandwich. It goes across the entire pizza. That's a first for me and it's awesome. All right, let's take another pull here. Again, just fantastic layering. Maybe the best layering I've ever seen on a pizza. Just perfect, it's rigid. Look at this crust. This crust is able to support this monstrous pizza you put your fingers all the way to the tips and it still supports it the crust is chewy yet crunchy it's it's really well done so you saw me put the butter in the pan to act as a lubricant instead of spraying oil um frankly i don't really taste the butter that much at all it's just subtly there this is already a remarkable butter crust so adding a little bit more butter like I did isn't gonna make a difference. Maybe if you put that entire stick or half stick of butter in there, it would have made a difference, but frankly, I can't taste it at all. So it's really interesting because on the last pizza, my knock was the lack of sauce. And on this pizza, even though the layering is exceptional, you know, typically the staple of a Chicago deep dish is the crust and the cheese. There's not a lot of cheese on this one. On the last pizza, you saw me taking pulls and, uh, you know, the cheese was stretching across almost my arm's length. And although there is cheese on here, you can see it, there isn't really too much of it. So I ordered a four pack of Luminati and on the cheese pizza, it was too much cheese. And then on the pepperoni, it was the perfect amount of cheese. And on this one, it's light cheese. So I don't know if it just, it just depends on who makes it or if they vary the cheese based on the type of pizza it is. Do they put more cheese on the pepperoni and less on a sausage? Because that's what I got. This is a beautiful slice of pizza. Look at that. That is scrumptious. This is a work of art. Mm. That was the best pull of the pizza. So I do like this one large layer of sausage. I'll do some surgery for you right here. You can see, so it's one large, oh, it's so hot. It's one large layer of sausage right here. Okay, so there's the sauce on top. There's the sausage on the back. So this crust, you can see that buttery goodness on the bottom. It looks really, really beautiful. And just this, it's kind of like cheesy bread. You know, it's just the crust and the cheese. This is really good in its own right. The complete layer of sausage like this that goes across the entire pizza almost makes it somewhat of a sandwich just because it's an entire layer of meat. The toppings aren't sprinkled on there or sporadically peppered on there. It is across the entire pizza. So it's kind of like an Italian hoagie in a sense. I already knew going into this that sausage was gonna be my number three favorite pizza. And if it outperformed, that would be great, but I didn't expect it to outperform. 
when I smelled it coming out of the oven, I had high hopes for it, but it just didn't come together that well. Now it's a great pizza. And if you are a sausage fanatic, you have to try this because this entire layer of sausage is something that must be experienced. I mean, look at this thing. It goes across the entire pizza, but it is almost more akin to a grinder or a hoagie than it is to a pizza. It's really good, but it remains at number three. If you're going to order a four pack, I'd recommend putting it in your four pack because it's something to be experienced. But if you're only gonna order one or two, go with the pepperoni. It's a much more fulfilling and complete experience. All right, so that's it. That's Luminati's meets Gold Belly. My ranking stays the same. It goes number one pepperoni, number two cheese, and number three sausage. Go ahead and check it out. I'll put all the links in the description below. You have them shipped to your house if you can't make it to Chicago. 